Good day. I'm John Harrison, and on behalf of Arlington Community Media, we are going to speak to Dr. Mohammed Soleiman of Egypt. He is in Japan six months into a two-year assignment at Ritsu Maikan University in Kyoto under the auspices of the Japan Society for Promotion of Sciences. His mission is to learn technology of the university, which he will take back to Alexandria to learn through this technology more of the ancient city of Alexandria and the Library of Alexandria, once the repository of all that was known about the world at that time. Welcome, Dr. Solomon. Thank you for joining us. And to begin, please tell us about your career and explain your mission in Japan in greater detail. Okay, but uh, Boel, thank you so much for this very nice introduction. Um, I, basically, uh, I'm archaeologist. I got graduated from Alexander University. I'm getting my PhD from Egypt in Islamic archaeology. And after that, I have been employed to uh, in, uh, Supreme Council of Antiquities of Egypt. And now I am in Japan for, uh, as you have mentioned before, about uh, for two years as a fellow for GSBS. So uh, I am here for promoting my research uh, using uh, advanced technology, Japanese technology in archaeology for achieving sustainable development goals. Um, about my case study, it is about Alexandria so, uh, of Egypt. So I think this kind of collaboration would be beneficial for both the sides of Egypt and Japan. Okay. And how did you get this opportunity of collaboration? Uh, how did that start? Uh, when did it begin? Actually, GSBS uh, fellowship is a very competing uh, 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 fellowships all over the world. The most, the most difficult one, because um, uh, so many scholars who are getting PhD uh, are seeking to get that postdoctoral fellowship but so many few of them get succeeded. So I have applied uh, over three years for four times, and this, this is my successful one to get that by applying and getting contact with Japanese schoolers. And my professor here in Ritzmaker University. So they supported me so much to get that, scientifically, of course. So that, and then the objective of the project ultimately is? Ah, the object, objective of my research or my project is uh, using advanced technology for pre preservation of, of uh, archaeological sites, dedicatedly Alexandria, old Alexandria, and how to get that uh, uh, data for but, um, for, uh, for observing urban, urban planning and urban change, of course, in the same time, and also for planning in the future for sustainable development of all the Alexandria, within the frame of all the Alexandria, all the Alexandria. And then what kind of technology do you use? Basically, we I use here uh, in Ritzmaker University uh, all applications of uh, GIS, remote sensing, and also uh, um, geophysical application. But this this part of geophysical application, I will have to, I will uh, travel to uh, Egypt sooner, maybe after uh, COVID nineteen would be finished. I will travel there to get implement uh, geophysical application in all Alexandria. And I just should should mention you are walking the streets of Kyoto right now. And yeah. um, it, it, as you told us, it is a holiday in Japan. And yeah. um, that's the reason mostly why the streets are empty and not particularly because of the coronavirus. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, now I'm walking on the main street forward to Badaidori, forward to uh, the Ritzmaker University, and we'll pass through that street with some magnificent uh, archaeological sites or historical sites in Kyoto and uh, due to the uh, COVID-19 and the holiday you will find the street today is a little bit or maybe entirely empty. 
Yeah, that's that's surprising. But um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But what, what what outcome do you expect or hope for ultimately for both Egypt and Japan in uh, with this project with this mission? I I, I think uh, within uh, this mission. Um, this we uh, uh, this mission represents a new um, type uh, type of collaboration between Egypt and Japan in field of archaeology, because it's not usual for archaeologists to, to use such as this very complicated and rich technology in in uh, in, archaeolo in archaeological research uh, uh, generally, but when we use it for uh, uh, sustainability. Uh, this will provide uh, or promote such a this project to be improved in the future for both sides or get another type of collaboration with both, state, uh, both states, both countries. And uh, you've been in Japan, I guess this is your third time uh, you've, you've said that you've this been in my, Japan? Yeah, my, this is my third time. So, uh, what uh, what has been your experience uh, as an Egyptian in Japan culturally? Um, actually, uh, during my first visit here, I, ha I have been shocked when I see my the, the first. Actually, it's my first time to travel abroad outside Egypt. It was my first trip was here in in Japan, so I get shocked with. Uh, a com entirely different people, entirely different country, entirely different concepts, as you know, probably, John. Uh, so, but I find the Japanese people are, are very disciplined, respond to it, and lo love their culture and preserve their uh, heritage very well. So, and um, on the other hand, due to other features of culture here you if if one if someone wants to visit or live in japan he has to get maybe a few or a little bit of uh, uh, overview of uh, japanese language basically because it's not common for a japanese to speak in another uh, in other language uh, for common or um, the great measure of japanese uh, don't speak other languages uh, this is my first uh, uh, impression about Japan. And the uh, second thing, you have to be so sensitive and so disciplined and respect their laws and regulations. If you get succeed in that, you will be insider. And that is very important for Japanese community. That is the point. But the funny thing is about um, their life Mainly for the poor, it is difficult for um, Egyptian to get used to Japanese food um, because uh, basically uh, Japanese uh, kitchen uh, is depending on uh, seafood. So uh, all the time you have to eat fish and other uh, stuff of seafood. On the other hand, of course, there is other types of. Uh, of food, but uh, not not so familiar for Egyptian, so that is the problem. Well, okay. it is it, it is Kyoto is a cosmopolitan city for the most part, uh, isn't it? Uh, actually, uh, Kyoto. Um, my impression about Kyoto is not cosmopolitan as much as it is a um, uh, um, historical city of a uh, historical capital of Japan. So you will find all type of heritage of um, such, such as uh, tangible and intangible heritage equally. So you'll find heritage even in the soul of people. So I don't see what is so cosmopolitan, but it's very preserved city. Okay, you know. okay. Now you you are in Japan right now during an unprecedented virus. How has this affected your work and your your daily activities? Uh, actually, uh, every every all activities such as workshop, conferences inside and outside uh, Japan have been delayed or postponed or even cancelled due to COVID nineteen. 
So I cannot uh, go anyway outside Kyoto uh, due to the state of emergencies that have been declared by Japanese uh, uh, government. Uh, so uh, it's affected negatively on my uh, mission here, but there is another part I am working on. Uh, you don't need to uh, move out of, of the field such as uh, applying uh, GIS or remote sensing applications. So, so you're able to do your daily activities in, in the university pretty much unimpeded by this pretty much or? No, actually, the, uh, my university here is clo is closed due to the state of emergency responding to that, and um, probably we will return after sixth of May. Maybe we we're not sure until now. Yeah, yeah, it's like like all over the world. Yeah. Well, well, what do you expect after finishing your tenure as a JSPS fellow? Hopefully to, to resume my research here in Japan, but uh, I have to uh, get back to Egypt. But uh, in that case, if I will return back to Egypt, I will um, work to enlarge and support uh, my uh, uh, scientific network with Japanese schoolers, which uh, who I have already so much of them, uh, for getting more collaboration in many aspects. So, and um, do you expect to return to Japan? Will there be, um, will you need to do more work? I mean, even though you're gonna be there another year and a half, but uh, look going forward, looking forward, do you expect to have to come back to Japan to continue this project or after the two full years, you feel the project will be finished? And uh, no, I hope, hopefully I, I, I am, I, I'm, I'm planning to get, uh, uh, um, returning back to Japan after the two years, because uh, one of benefits of GSBS fellowship is uh, um, serving um, at a kind of sustainable collaboration with Japanese uh, schoolers and, and universities. So it's very important for me to, uh, to continue that within GSBS and other uh, Japanese uh, uh, support. So, so you you do you expect the current and future cooperation between Egypt and Japan? Are are, are Japanese scholars coming to Alexandria or coming to Egypt to work with you in Egypt at some point, or have they already? Or, is, or how, what is that like? Yeah, uh, actually, I've already got. Um... Uh, uh, a Japanese uh, uh, network of schoolers. They are friends now, not only just colleagues. We have we have started working in Egypt um, three years ago or four years or more than four years ago, in but in, in very small projects, of, uh, wild projects maybe. But uh, for the case of Alexandria, as major uh, the case study of this little bit huge project, uh, my professor. Uh, uh, Keji Yano, the supervisor of my project here, will visit Egypt with me. By the way, it will be his first time to visit Egypt, so it's very nice for both of us to to know that. And also uh, other Japanese colleagues here uh, is collaborating with me in that uh, um, uh, in that field. So I invited them to visit Egypt during the uh, field trip. Uh, in maybe after COVID nineteen, yeah. And and will when they come to Japan, will it be? I mean, when they come from Japan to Egypt, will, will they be primarily in Alexandria, or will you go to several uh, cities and sites in Egypt once they? Are Basically, there? Alexandria is my, my my home city, by the way. So uh, also, but I have to visit Cairo as well because mm -hmm. uh, uh, one of my objective is getting collect uh, is collecting uh, uh, data from uh, uh, Egypt, uh, former Egyptian Association, uh, such as Statistics Authority and uh, uh, Narses Nariage and other uh, uh, maybe Ermen Harmony, of course, uh, other uh, official associations to. Uh, improve and support uh, um, the outcome of my project. 
So this, so this project, though, it, it seems like this is going to be something that's going to be going on for years. Uh, there's a lot to this project. It's a big project with, with many moving parts. So, so you are going to be involved in this, it seems, for quite a long time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but uh, well, the major, major objective of that project is not for saying for people uh, that's our heritage. Yeah, yeah, it's very, yeah. It's nice to say to people we have a heritage. Already, all of us know knows our heritage. But this is not the point. The point is how getting benefit from this heritage for our recent life and for the future for other generation. How to preserve this heritage and also how getting. Uh, 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 improve and or serve sustainability or achieving sustainable development goals uh, within frame of preservation is very important and mostly uh, uh, um, urban, historical urban fabric of Egypt most of them are suffering of uh, that uh, kind of uh, conflict between uh, authenticity and the modernization I think my mission is, is um, how to find that sort of collaboration between both of them, how to find or uh, and convince people with coexistence between authenticity and uh, modernization. I think this, this is the philosophy of this project. That and, do you, and do you feel that that is happening? Are you confident of, of, of that uh, as this program continues? I think so. I think so. But because um, uh, all all of that, uh, uh, all of outcomes and uh, result of, of of that project, um, we will uh, trans convert it into a, a implement a implemented projects for, of course, for uh, a, 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 um, a, a small area in old Alexandria in collaboration with Alexandra government. That that we hopefully we, we are going to do. Now, um, are, are you or are any of your colleagues working at other universities to the same end, or, or is it just uh, the, the university in Kyoto uh, that's involved in this project? Uh, no, no, this is, uh, I'm the only one. So that's the only the only country, Japan. Do you do you think there will there will be others uh, in the future to enlarge on this project, or is it? as far as you can see, only uh, this association with, with the JSPS and your country? Uh, actually, JSPS, uh, if you are talking about that kind of fellowship, uh, is open for all fields or all majors. But for archaeology, I, I think I'm the only one who getting this fellowship as archaeologist, because it is very competing. As you know, probably, John, uh, Japan is, uh, is interested in uh, 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 basic sciences more than humanitarians, uh, but uh, in this type, I think it's a prize for, uh, for for archaeology, not only for me, to getting this very competing fellowship. Co hopefully, I I, I I hope for all archaeologists, Egyptian archaeologists, is getting fellowship, uh, uh, JSBS fellowship, to resume and improve that uh, uh, kind of projects. Have Have there been um any big surprises, unexpected things as part of your research and as part of this mission that, that really surprised you that you never would have expected? Or have things gone along pretty much as you expected? Uh, actually, day by day, I find more surprises. That is a, that is a fact. Basically, um, uh, uh, um, my university here, uh, Actually, I like this university so much, and my professors, they, they are very supportive. And this uh, uh, over all needs or requirements for uh, 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 improving and promoting the projects, such uh, devices, uh, required devices, softwares, and uh, uh, getting uh, uh, other collaboration with Japanese uh, schoolers all over Japan, not not only in, in Kyoto, such as Tsukuba University, I have a good collaboration with them, or uh, Tokyo, Tokyo University, and, uh, uh, and also Tokyo University for Foreign Studies, uh, 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 Language Studies. So uh, I think uh, I have a good chance and I'm lucky to get this very especially here in the
Ah, that's very, very, very interesting indeed. Um, do you have anything else you would like to add uh, before we part? Um, first of all, I hope COVID-19 will be finished as soon as possible. As and do we all, we, yes. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, to continue our ordinary life. The second thing uh, that I want to tell everybody, don't lose your hope because I was uh, struggling, fighting for uh, over more than three years to getting GSBS fellowship. Uh, that means I have failed three times before getting this successful one. And for young researchers, I want to say, uh, want to, say to them and also my colleagues, you have to get a, a concept of how to be always new. I think that's very important for any school. Yes, you're right, and 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 you seem to embody the truth that perseverance wins in the end, and um, and that's uh, that reinforces my not in uh, in a few months or something to see what has happened in the meantime, and by that time, coronavirus should be a thing of, of uh, distant memory, hopefully. But meanwhile. Continue your research, and um, thank you for taking the time uh, to speak to us about what you're doing. This has been very, very interesting indeed. Thank you so much, John, and thank you for a very interesting interview and for uh, talking with you as well. And hope everybody, including you, of course, be saved away of any diseases, mainly COVID-19. Yeah, thank you so much indeed for the interview. <laughs> You're welcome. This has thank been great. You. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you so Dr. Solomon. Thank you so much. See you.